Hello and welcome to Revenge Kills, episode number 36. So this guy that I'm going to be fighting today, well, he's a pretty uh, cheap fighter I'd say. He's definitely camping out. It would seem to me that he's uh, farming souls through PvP. He does clearly have a dark on Orlando world, so he will get a lot of invaders that way. And I know personally from my experience, it can be really troublesome when you die in this world. So I wouldn't blame him entirely for wanting to really, you know, beat everyone that invades his world. As you can see, this guy, he has his little bandit knife, plus his hornet's ring, which makes for a pretty deadly combo. Combo. I do have about 1,500 HP on this character, so he deals quite the damage, about around 1,000. And he really surprised me there when he took out a silver knight spear, which is actually the exact same weapon I'm using here. And, well, it's a very, very good weapon. It only requires like 16 strength, 22 dex, and it can do around 400 to 500 damage. Uh, as this character does have 50 dex. But anyways, yeah, he takes me out. He actually nearly got killed by that NPC there if you watch closely. And anyways, this is actually the fourth time I invaded him. I did invade him a total of four times. And this time I got this blue phantom here. But And we were just searching around. We were actually searching around for him like two and a half minutes. And all of a sudden he, he just glitches out of that elevator. I think it's mostly due to the lag that he glitched out of there actually. And then luckily for me I was able to cancel out the damage from that backstab. And now by the way this time, as I did mention, um... This is my fourth time invading him, invading him, and the first three times he killed me. So I was getting pretty sick and tired of his tactics. So now I came prepared. I got this Fire's Y-Hander fully upgraded to fire. And my Hornet's Ring is equipped, as well as my Dark Wood Grain Ring to flip around. So I was starting to run back, see if my uh, other Blue Phantom friend could help me out. Just some random guy wasn't actually my friend. But anyways, he returned home, I guess. He gave up hope looking for this guy. So now it's just a one-on-one. -on -one and I think me and my opponent here are actually pretty equally matched, although he does have his uh his Estus class, so that's about his only advantage. And I think he does have more poison than me, and probably more defense, I do believe. So I'm really relying on this Hornet's Ring and Zweihander to do most of my damage for backstabs. I just barely hit him, break his, gar break his poise before he can hit me, and I sort of predicted him healing because I kind of know this guy. So I use my own humanity to heal myself. And I do get my Lloyd Stylesman's ready right there. I get him ready to throw at him, throw on him. So we can not heal with this flask. So I'm really pursuing this guy. I don't want to give him like any room to breathe. I don't want to give him any time to heal or anything. Spin right around him. Whack him in the back. I was going for a chain BS, but he countered that by rolling into me. Now I'm going after him once again, and I should not have done that dash attack because I just gave him a flasking opportunity, and I gave him another flasking opportunity by completely missing him. But anyways, I somehow hit him with my SS flask right there. So at this point we're once again pretty equally matched. I think he does have about 100 more HP than me, about, and or similar HP. So I get another backstab on him, he's really low on life. I got him in a tight situation. I do not know why he has a bow out. That's not going to do him very much good. He keeps flipping around, trying to get away from me. And I finish him off with a dash attack. And finally I wave goodbye. So guys, thanks for watching and goodbye.